Good day all. Well, I wanted to have a quick chat with you about transmitter stick switches. Now, for all of you thumb flyers, you're going to be going, oh, what the hell are stick switches? I don't get what they are. Well, there we go. This is one that is sold by Jetty to suit the Jetty D, S and DC range of radios. And you can see it's a little gimbal and on the top, I've just actually pulled it out, but on the top you've got a little switch. See how that goes? And essentially what these do is they go on the top of your sticks, which for pinch flies and for tray users is fantastic because you're holding the radio like so and the switches are just completely there. So they are great, but um, they obviously don't suit your typical thumb flyers. And I dare say if someone were trying to fly with thumbs, in fact, my mate Andy tried with my radio the other day. <laughs> he couldn't get on with it because he got this sharp pointy bit. But um, by the by, you know, stick switches are fantastic. But um, what I really wanted to do was to tell you about the RC Technic switches, which are sold on the RC Technic website. I'll put the link in the description below. But um, essentially these sticks are sold for a variety of different radios. Now, clearly the Jetty has them. You can get them for the tray version of the Free Sky Horus radios. I believe there's some which will fit the Gropners, etc. They are completely aftermarket switches. But, and this is a very big punt for them, they are fantastic, truly fantastic. Now. I've got, you probably saw me waving it around. There you go. So this is an RC Technic switch and it's completely milled out of aluminium. It's got this utterly superb feeling switch there, but you can also get them with a little push button over here. Now the Jetty equivalent, in fact, let me put them both together. You can see that kind of, they work, they do the same thing. The Jetty one installs easily, but these just feel fantastic and um, in the case of my one um, what I've done over here on my DC 24 is it I've got the stick switches on the top here so I've got a three position switch and I've also got a push button right here now what that means when I'm flying is that I can move between every single flight mode press a button over here to get a telemetry alert I actually don't ever have to go hunting around to find a switch everything is on my fingertips ready to go but um yeah they are pretty damn good a bit of a pig to install now <laughs> the reason i say this is on the jetty particularly and, and this is probably to be fair a jetty issue for installing the switches by default the jetty radio has that sticking out of it and you can by default you get a standard little top which i believe i've got one here there and that's sort of that screws in on the top there and you have a switch. Fantastic. They then sell an aftermarket switch, which gives you that end. And you screw that onto the top. And it's all dead easy. The cables run through, they do the job. But not so easy with the RC Technic switches because the bottom bit is fused completely into the actual stick here. Now, th this becomes quite challenging because when you've got your very expensive radio here, and you discover you have to get the hot air gun to that plastic gimbal base down there, heat it up and then unscrew the existing stick. I tell you what, it is a bit nerve wracking, but um, it works. You know, it probably took about 15 to 20 minutes to do, despite the nerve wracking, you follow the instructions that RC Technic have on the website, it works. The end result is great. Um, and I love them. I absolutely love them. I, I kind of, as a tray flyer, I wouldn't really want to not have them because they are just so good so there you have it some of us like stick switches some of us don't if you are the type to use them consider the rc technic switches because the quality is just superb anyway guys enjoy your day i'm going to have fun cheers